Welcome to the video series on deploying custom applications using MassDriver. In this video series, we'll walk you through the process of creating an application bundle and publishing it to MassDriver, configuring environment variables and secrets, deploying your application, and applying ongoing updates to your application. In this video series, we'll be creating a simple WordPress blog site running in AWS using Kubernetes and MySQL. You can see that we've already provisioned the resources we need, an AWS VPC network, an EKS Kubernetes cluster, and an Aurora MySQL database. In order to continue, we'll need to have the MassDriver CLI installed locally. Follow the link in the video description for instructions on installing the MassDriver CLI. Once you're ready, open a terminal and navigate to your application directory. For this demo, I've made a directory named blog. By ls, you'll see that there's some dummy files in here to simulate this being an application directory. Run mass bundle new, and this will start a wizard that will walk you through the process of creating a new application bundle. For name, we'll just use blog. For description, we'll say a WordPress blog site. You'll now be presented with a list of bundle templates that you can use as a great starting point for creating your custom bundle. Most of these are for applications. Since we're going to be creating this as a Kubernetes deployment, navigate to the Kubernetes deployment template and hit enter. You'll now be prompted for any connections your application might need. Connections are the little gray ports on the left side of bundles that can connect to other bundles. Since we're deploying a WordPress blog site and WordPress requires a MySQL database, we need to add that as a connection. Start typing MySQL and you'll see it filter down to that option. Hit space to select it. Note that even though we're running in Kubernetes, we don't need to specify a Kubernetes connection since that's required by default in the Kubernetes deployment template. Since all we need is MySQL, hit enter to continue. We now need to name all of our connections, which in this case is just the single MySQL database connection. Naming the connection allows us to reference it in later steps, but it also makes it distinguishable. For example, your application may have two Redis connections, one Redis cluster for caching and one Redis cluster for user sessions. In that case, you can name each of them separately, perhaps one named cache and one named sessions. Since all we have is this single MySQL database connection, let's just name it database. Now we're asked where we'd like to output the configuration. For application bundles like this one, we recommend storing your MassDriver configuration alongside your application code, usually in a subdirectory named MassDriver, which is the default option. So go ahead and hit enter. Storing the MassDriver configuration directory in the same repository as the code will make continuous deployment easier when we're ready. If we ls, you'll see that there's a new MassDriver directory. Let's open a co-editor to view the files. If we open the MassDriver directory, you'll see that there's a MassDriver.yaml file in here. This file manages all the bundle configuration, such as name and description, as well as parameters, connections, and artifacts. We'll edit this file in future videos, but for now, the file is fine the way it is. Let's head back to the terminal and publish this application bundle to MassDriver. First, we need a CD into the MassDriver directory. Next, we'll run mass bundle lint to check the configuration for any errors. Looks like the configuration is valid, so let's publish. And to publish successfully, let's head into the MassDriver console to check out our new blog application. Open the bundle sidebar and filter by applications. You'll see our blog application listed. Let's drag it onto the canvas. We'll just name it blog. Click Submit, and it'll drop onto the canvas. You'll see that it has two connections, a Kubernetes cluster. And remember, this connection was added automatically by the application template. And the other is a MySQL connection named database. This is the one that we added. That's connected up to our resources. Kubernetes goes to Kubernetes, and MySQL goes to MySQL. There we go. Technically, our application is ready to deploy, but it wouldn't get very far since we haven't set up the proper environment variables. We'll take care of that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date on our latest videos and head to massdriver.cloud to get started today.